a par H as well as go Wenchun on each winning a field tested M4A1S masterpiece. Please respond to your YouTube messages in the next 48 hours to claim your skin and send your trade link. Either way, I decided after this one, after doing the masterpiece giveaway, you guys love the masterpiece. Personally, one of my favorite M4 skins. It's gorgeous. Riley loves it as well. We can do another giveaway if this video hits 1.3K likes. So 1.3K likes, we can launch another giveaway, probably just as good as this one, if not better. Either way, enjoy the video. All right, my quad squad, how's everybody doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here. Back at you guys again with another CSGO video. Today we're going to be doing the series that I really probably mostly enjoy doing throughout my entire channel. It's the CSGO scam series. Basically, it's an anti-scam series, not a video or series to teach you guys how to scam. It's actually the exact opposite. It teaches you guys how to not get scammed, what scams to avoid, what are the brand new scams going on, how you guys can basically keep your really cool skins, keys, and cases and not have to get them taken away by some random dude in Russia. So I'm going to really try and help you guys out here. Either way, a quick little reminder, do go down in the comment section below and tell me whether what scams have worked on you and how they were done. Maybe I'll feature it in a video, maybe something else like a scam that was attempted on you, or maybe it's worked on your friend. Anything like that, just anything you can do to help inform other people about how to avoid scams, that would be much appreciated. So again, leave those down in the comment section below. As well as a quick little reminder, do subscribe and join the quad squad. Thumbs it up too as well. Let's get into it, boys. All right, so this this scam is is one that I would not say is a scam, really. It, it definitely is a scam because it has to do with lying to people and telling them things that aren't true. But it's something that people who are a little bit more aware and used to CSGO skins, used to trading, and basically just paying attention and making sure they know exactly what's going on in every scenario and actually just being aware and not just blatantly just going out and trading your skins and doing whatever. It's people who are actually paying attention. So this scam starts off, it was actually the homie Jeb who sent me this story of it actually happened to her. What goes on? She says, a person found a knife that's not posted, again, or, or it can also be something brand new, like a person finds a knife that has not been posted on the steam market for a price and then it really isn't actually worth that price then they find people to trade it over with you know somebody who posts a post on the global offensive subreddit trade or if people will go over on csgo lounge or they'll just find people on trading servers if those still even exist you know there's so many different ways obviously to find people who really 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 just want to make even a dollar two three four dollars of profit and are really willing to trade for almost any knife and really have no like i, I don't want to say like boundaries because that sounds weird and sexual but still boundaries with csgo skin trading <clears throat> So again, a person will find a knife that's not posted on the Steam market for a price that really isn't worth that at all. Then they'll find people to trade it with, with that actually look at only Steam market prices because there's a lot of people. I'm the opposite of it. I, I can't tell you the last time I went on the Steam market, like the, the Steam community market and tried to check the price of something. I really never do that seriously. I'll always go to an external website where it's worth that, it's worth that actual amount of cash because if something's worth $100 on Steam, it's not worth $100 cash. It's worth like 71 72 dollars cash so i'll never really go to the steam community market to try and find that <clears throat> i'll typically just look it up on like csgo stash op skins bit skins, something like that different sites like that will tell me the actual cash value and again these again this is taking advantage of people who obviously really only use the steam market price and they'll go out and they'll make a lot of money while while the person who gets the really really overpriced knife loses like 30 40 50 even upwards of 100 or 200 dollars because basically the strategy of what they're saying this actually happened to her she told me about it how they, the guy took advantage of her it's, okay that's such a weird thing to say in csgo skin terms i promise man but either way what went on was he was trying to say hey man i really got this knife and i don't want it anymore i really want the knife you have like your knife is kind of like my dream knife like that's the knife that i want and you know when you get told that and you really are like holy fuck, this guy really wants my specific knife it's going to lead me to 20 30 40 50 dollars in profit that should immediately set off a red alert that immediately alarm alarm alert alert hello wake up why would a random stranger even though they want your whatever you have karambit tiger tooth gut knife damascus steel anything even though 
you have something that's a knife why would they want to go out of their way to give you a bunch of free profit why wouldn't they just sell their knife and take the extra 50 dollars and buy the knife that you have whatever okay makes sense so again that should set off a huge red alert huge alarm in your head says no 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 randoms wanting to give me free money because i have to do something weird and really unique for them and for some reason they want to trade me something that's worth a lot of profit hell no <laughs> hell no again complete red alarm here is another way that I personally found, okay, okay, I'm not going to be here to give you guys the best trading tips. I'm not a good trader in any form at all. I'm not good at trading, but I do know ways to avoid scams. And again, when people will go after you and they'll use, again, Steam Market Price only, and there's only one knife listed on the market, and it says, holy fuck, that knife is $340. It's a stat track, M9 bayonet, bright water, well-worn. Boom, that should set off an alarm in your head. That's a very, very unique item that seems like there would only be a couple of those on the Steam market. First of all, what makes that item unique? Again, it's a brand new Gamma Knife. There's not a lot of them. Okay, it's an M9 Bayonet, and that doesn't really make it too unique. It's a Bright Water. That in itself makes it fairly unique. Well Worn. How common is Well Worn? Not really that common. You know, maybe a Bright Water. It's not common. Brightwater, well-worn, not common. You should look into that. I'm sure if you like trading, you probably like skins to a certain degree. And you probably want to learn a little bit about skins. And you probably want to learn that Brightwater is well-worn. Basically, anything well-worn really isn't that common. And it's not a stable price. Like finding a flip knife Doppler minimal wear. That's, that's you know, all, all Dopplers are factory new except a, a smaller percentage, which are minimal wear. And they are typically really flux, fluctuable. Uh, they fluctuate a lot in price because there's not a lot of them. So you got to think about that. You got to think about a knife that somebody would be able to only have one or two of in the three, four, five of them in the world and be the only one in the Steam community market. Again, a Brightwater well-worn M9. Already an incredibly unique item that there could be max one, two, three, four, five on the Steam community market. And then add stat track on top of that. Something like that. Man, you're about to see, holy shit, a $370 stat track M9 Brightwater well-worn, holy fuck for my, my gut knife Damascus steel minimal wear. <sighs> what the, the, the trade, trade, go, go, go. Oh, I lost $20. You know, that was kind of a bad comparison because even if it was that knife, that stat track M9 Brightwater is still worth more than a gut knife Damascus. But let's say your M9 Doppler is worth $250 on the Steam market, and then you see a stat track M9 Brightwater well-worn worth $380, and you're like, $130 profit. Holy fuck. Yes. Make the trade, baby. I know you want my M9 with this specific pattern and float in this bullshit story that that scammer makes up and tries to tell you why they really, really want your knife and why they're willing to give up so much profit and not just sell it and buy your knife from you and get it just it, it doesn't make sense it's people hearing a story th th that's another huge thing in scamming it's people hearing a story that's way too good to be true and hey buddy guess what it's way too damn good to be true <laughs> it's just too good to be true man whenever you think you're trading playing csgo dealing with money in general this applies to real life as well and you think this is Wow, man, this is this is a really fucking good deal. This is a really good story. Holy shit, I'm a, I'm not gonna tell my friends. I'm not gonna tell my parents. I'm gonna tell nobody. I'm just and they're gonna say, holy dude, how did you get that knife? How did you get that car? How did you get that this? Oh damn, it's broken. Oh, it's really not as good as it seems. Oh, I got scammed. It's probably too fucking good to be true. Please, as as members of the Quad Squad, as people who watch my videos consistently and really fuck, I I love you guys so much. But that I don't want to get into a sob story or tell you guys how gooey mushy how much I love you. I really do. But still, I don't want you guys to fall for the stupid schemes of people trying to take advantage of trying to trade you a really really unique skin. Like let's say a Star Trek P2K Fire Elemental well worn. I don't even know if that's a skin. I don't think it is. I think it goes field tested minimal wear and factory new on the Fire Elemental. But whatever. Let's say okay, you come up with that skin. That's obviously a very unique skin and it's $90 and he says, "Hey man, give me your Star Trek P2K Fire Elemental factory new." And you say, "Oh, if it's profit, let me check the Steam market really quick, man. I don't know why you'd want to make that trade with me. I don't know why. I don't know why I would Mine is worth 60 and his is worth 100. You get the point? You really do. But again, he's the only one or he has another account with that exact item 
on sale for that price. He could set the price. He could make it 190. He could just choose whatever he wants it to be because he's the only one on the Steam market. Believe it or not, this has happened to a lot of different people and it happened to Jeb and it's really not a cool thing and it, it, it sucks and it sucks and I want you guys to watch out for it. I want you to realize what's going on and not be completely oblivious to people who are outwardly manipulating prices of skins because they're such uncommon skins. Again, like a Stat Trek M9 Brightwater Well Worn. That's very manipulatable. I, <laughs> that's very easily to mess with is another way of saying it. But either way, I just want to keep you guys updated on this sort of scam situation, trading tr trick tip tip how to not lose your skins and get fucked. Uh, that, that, that's just one, one little tip that I can give you guys. So please try and stay away from this. Check other markets besides the Steam community market. Check online. Check CSGO Stash. Check OP Skins. Check all these different sites. Whatever you can do, don't just check the community market and don't think a good a good trade that profits you a bunch. It's probably good, to, good too good to be true. But don't get me wrong. You can still get really profitable trades that might sound too good to be true and actually do go through. Don't don't, don't shy away from trades just because you heard Quantum FT say this shit. Make sure it's legit, and if you really think it is, then go for it. But if it seems at all sketchy, at all, in any form, please don't do it. Don't fall for it. You guys can also, if you'd like to learn a bunch more about scams and how to avoid them and how to save your skins and save yourself, trust me, you'll thank yourself in the future for watching my CSGO scam series on my channel. You guys can go ahead and check out that playlist. I've got a bunch of other CSGO sc scam stories and how to avoid them as well as my own faults within trading and CSGO scamming and getting fucked and all that shit. But either way, it's been your boy Quadum FT. If you haven't already subscribed, you guys probably do know this, but we just hit 135,000 subscribers. Thank you guys again for that. And we are working our way up to 140k, so make sure to help out if you'd like to. Maybe create a YouTube account, subscribe, and join the Quad Squad. Thumbs up the video if you haven't already. If you do love it, I do love it when you like it. So click that like button. Either way, it's been your boy Quadum FT. Check out CSGORoll.com. Link to them down in the description below. If you guys would like to go over there and get some free coins, go ahead and use code Quadum FT. Again, CSGORoll.com. Link in the description. It's been your boy Quad. If you're that dedicated of a Quad Squad member, oh, I'm tired after doing this video. Go down in the comment section below and comment the word tired. T I R E D. 21. Tired 21 down in the comments. I'll try to apply to a bunch of you guys. It's a few more quad on my team. I have 5,000. I'll see you a bunch of later. Peace out. Bye.